I always start on the lower end of that spec because you always tighten a little bit when you're putting the jam nut back on. Hello, this is Trevor at Wilkins Harley Davidson. Today we're going to be doing a rocker adjustment on a Springer front end. This should be done every 10,000 miles. And the way to check it, obviously you have to remove the wheel and the fender. And it's a swing method. So you take this off. You should always do one at a time. If you end up doing both, you should zip tie them. But if you do one at a time, you shouldn't have to zip tie the legs together. Because if you take these off and you don't have them zip tied, this will spring up. So what you're checking is the, is the swing back with these. And it should be 25 to 35 inch pounds. And this one is very loose. So you just put your Allen in there. I recommend a beam torque wrench. That's what I use. There's also the dial kind too. And as you can see, this one didn't even register and it's probably 10. You go one way, come back the other, and it's not even registering. So that needs to be adjusted. So what you do is you pop this back inside. Put your pivot bolt back in. And this is a jam nut, so you just want to back that off. Back the jam nut. I bring it way away. So when you're tightening the act, when you're actually tightening this, that you're not fighting against each other. So the spec on this, you're supposed to tighten this nut here, um, 25 inch pounds to 35 inch pounds. I always start on the lower end of that spec because you always tighten a little bit when you're putting the jam nut back on. So we're going to set that probably about 20, we'll set it at 25. Right there's 25. I like to also put a little anti-seize on the threads of these. And the torque spec on the jam nut is actually 95 to 105 foot pounds. I always set it at 100. And the best way to get that is with a, a crow's foot. And when you use a crow's foot, you should always have it at 90 degrees. And you're also going to have to hold the Allen with a, with a breaker bar so that does not move. That's better. That's way better. So now that it's been adjusted, it should be 35 to 25 swinging back and forth, nice and smoothly, nothing binding. Everything's nice and smooth. Put the beam wrench in there. And that's right about 35. And go back the other way, make sure it gets the same. 35 being right there, right where it's breaking. And that's how, and then we take that. I like to lube up the spherical bearing real quick. Make sure that moves nice and freely. Swing her back in. Put your pivot bolt back in. Torque that to 50 foot pounds. And that's it. 